been pretty crazy five years of living here. Um, lots of things, have, lots of changes, lots of things that we have that I never thought we would have. Um, I, I never thought that I would have a property like this. I never thought that I would have land that I can go hunting on right out my back door. I never thought that I would have a, a pond, an amazing pond to go out and just sit by and look at all of the animals, uh, the opportunity to, to grow fresh food directly out of our back door. Um, it's been pretty amazing. I don't know what the future holds for it all. I, more I guess cats. more cats. More cats. Okay, the future's gonna hold more cats. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I guess for me, I'd like to see more efficiency on our part for things. I think that would open the door for more enjoyment. Um, one thing that that I haven't mentioned yet is that this is not my full time job. Um, this is not Sarah's full time job. We have it's called a hobby farm. It's for called a, a hobby farm for a, a reason. Hobby. Um, I would love for it to be my full-time job. I would love for this to be my every single day, but unfortunately it's not. Um, we both have careers that we're working on and make all of this possible. But, you know, I spend a lot of time every week at work. Um, I have a long commute both to and from work. Um, so that cuts into the amount of time that I can dedicate here. So when I do get home, I feel pressured to try and get this done or get that done or, you know, what what happened while I was gone all day? What do I need to deal with? What do I need to take care of? Uh, what What's the next project? What's the next thing that needs to get built? You know, uh, you know, it would be a lot easier if, if I could dedicate my whole day to that. And I, I know you too, you know. Minus the commute. My commute's very short. The commute's very short, but... Um, but you know, the responsibility is still, it, it, it would be so nice to be able to just have this be the responsibility. And, and so I would like to see over the next few years, you know, things streamlined. Um, maybe we can start entertaining the idea of, you know, bringing things to farmers markets, doing things like that. Right now we have the, the farm stand that we put out, which basically just people stop and, it's a basically a donation stand at this point. Yeah, be, pretty much. We don't really make a profit. We don't make a profit. There's no money to be made yeah. on it. You know, if we've probably sold more sweet corn to people just because that's what people want to buy than anything else. Uh, last year, we uh, we grew a whole bunch of pumpkins and put those out on the stand, and th that actually was a pretty big hit. Uh, a lot of people stopped and you know asked, "Oh, do you do this every year? And do you do that?" And, but with that, a lot of times. People are going to these giant pumpkin patches where that, they can pick their own. Where they can pick their own and where there's hay rides and there's this and there's that and that's that's not really what we have set up here. We don't you know, we're not it'd be nice in the future if that could be something we could do. It would it'd be wonderful if we could yeah. have something I'd love to do a pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patch or a pick your own or right. or whatever. But but as of right now, you know, I, I think the big thing for us is just Focusing on the learning, focusing on the family, focus on, you know. Knowing what goes in our food, where it's coming from. Right. Preserving the food. Preserving the, yeah, preserving um, the food. Making the soil rich so our food has more nutrients in it. Right. Yep. And not having to rely on grocery stores nearly as much would right. be a huge goal. I would love to grow enough to last us an entire year. I don't know if that's possible with the way our kids eat vegetables. Yeah, we might make but, it a month. Yeah. So, uh, you know what, if we made it a, a month on that, I'd be pretty excited. Right. Yep. Skip in the grocery store for a month. But, but anyways, I, that's future goals would be to eventually at least make enough for us to not have to run into town. Because living out here, town is kind of far away. And who wants to spend money at a grocery store? Right. On a, on a subpar tomato that we could have grown just as well right. on our own. And I think for me, that's where I'm looking is, you know, here in Minnesota, we have such a short growing season. How can we extend that? How can we, how can we, how can I have fresh tomatoes in January that we grew ourselves? You know, or another I'll, thing I guess I would like to see in the future is also maybe trying different foods for different seasons and seeing how that goes and 
just eating what you can during that time of year. Right. Instead Winter of Winter would be tricky because you're going to eat snow, but. Right. And I think that that's another thing, you know, we're kind of exploring the idea of other animals. I, I, I think the biggest problem is, and I'm sure many of you out there, you know, you, you you get nervous about having chickens and then you you buy chickens or you you know you somebody gives you chickens and then after a month or two months or six months chickens are no big deal they're they're just they're just the thing that you you know how to deal with and so some of the things that we're we've been talking about having uh you know pigs or different things like that those ideas to us are so foreign but part of me is saying get them because you're going to regret that you didn't do it sooner. I, I, I know that all the fears that I have right now with raising pigs to, to butcher, to provide us with months and months worth of food, all those fears will be completely gone after that first year. And it will be, you know, we're going to have a lot of lessons learned and we're going to have probably some stories to tell about funny things that we did and that didn't work. And now our house pigs that we couldn't slaughter. And, and how now we have, yep, now we have not only two dogs on the couch <laughs> watching TV every night, but also two pigs. Um, so, you know, those are, those are some things that I probably would want for myself is have more confidence in what we're doing. And, um, you know, don't, don't get so worked up about the small stuff. I, I get way too uptight about about the small stuff. Thanks for watching and if there's something you'd like to see, comment below and let us know. Um, also, if you guys have better ideas on things that maybe we should try, that you've tried that have worked for you, let us know. I mean, we'll probably try it. Yeah. <laughs> Might not be good at it, but we'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it. You know, and I guess um, thank you if you watch this entire series. I appreciate it. Um, you know, Sarah and I, we started making videos this year because we were, well, we were pretty much doing this stuff anyways, and we thought it would be fun to kind of show some people what we're doing here. And I think I went into it hoping that I would get a lot of answers to questions that I had too. That and also it's a good, for me, it's documenting what we did. So then next year when we look back, we can be like, okay, so this worked, but this didn't because sometimes my memory isn't the best. That. Um, things that worked and things that didn't work so it's nice to kind of document what you've tried where you've tried it and if it worked out or didn't work out or maybe where you can build on it or maybe you just scrap the whole thing right yeah and i think it's pretty cool that you know we're kind of in a way making a time capsule for our kids to be able to look back at you know all the memories that we've tried to remember they'll have it at their fingertips they're yeah. gonna they're gonna have these videos for their future and who knows how long they'll last. Maybe they'll be able to show their children one day, this is exactly where I grew up. This is exactly what grandma and grandpa were doing. Uh, the possibilities are endless with with the internet. And and so thank you for watching this. Um, this is hopefully you understand a little bit more about what we're doing here. I hope you understand a little bit more about us and, and uh, who we are. And um, thank you. And uh, welcome to Lori Farm. <laughs>